So the English like to drink wine and the French like to make it. This means pretty much forever, the English bought wine from the French. For hundreds of years, even when the two countries were at war, the French would still sell the English wine. Well, not always. During yet another conflict in 1693, the King of England was like, F you France, we don't want your wine and put a huge tax on it. The French were like, Le f you, we will not sell it to you anyways. And so the English wine merchants ended up in Portugal. However, there was a problem. Portugal is pretty far south, and during the long trips, it gets really hot. Any red wine shipped during the summer will go bad when the hulls of the ships hit over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It would cook the wine and make it taste like crap. Luckily, around the same time, an English wine merchant discovered a Portuguese abbey that was making fortified wines. You see, wine is made when you add yeast to crushed grapes. The yeast eats the natural sugars in the grapes and produces alcohol and carbon dioxide. What these monks were doing was waiting until the yeast ate only half the sugar, and then they spiked the wine with brandy, which increased the alcohol content to 20%, but also left a bunch of sugar. Both of these are natural preservatives. This allowed the wines to get back to England unharmed. The sweet wine was a huge hit with the English, and they basically took over the industry for the next few hundred years. Modern port can be broken into three major categories. Ruby port is young, fresh, fruity, and usually the least expensive. Tawny ports are aged in separate large oak barrels and then blended together in 10, 20, 30, and even 40-year-old bottles. These are meant for immediate consumption. Vintage port is special and needs the government to officially declare a vintage in order to be made. These wines are aged for decades before they become ready to drink. The 1977s are just coming into their own, while the 1927s are drinking beautifully. So don't overlook this delicious treat. Drink it before dinner, after dinner, or pour some on your ice cream.